Hello, my name is Mike Johnson. Take you on an out, inside and outside video tour of this 2013 Coachman Murata bunkhouse motorhome with full body paint. It's a very clean motorhome. It's 2013 model. Extremely nice, clean, glossy exterior fully detailed and waxed as we go down the side you can see the reflection this is a long video with full details so you can fast forward through or watch the whole thing if you want but it looks the best if you put this on your YouTube capable smart TV in your living room and watch on the big television it's a nice big motorhome has a rear fueling point so you could put gas from either left or right side or from the the rear by backing it towards a pump has a v5 towing package with power connection and it's got a backup camera so if you do want to back up to the gas pump you can see what you're doing it's got a big giant passenger side slide out this one has bunk beds and a large wardrobe storage the big shade awning is a power main patio awning here. It's a nice big patio awning. And uh, there's a switch in above the passenger seat to open and close it. So you can look out the window and retract it or extend it from inside the motorhome. You got these big towing mirrors on the motorhome and you have side view cameras. So on the left and right sides of the motorhome are side view cameras and large towing mirrors they have the big wide convex and these are power aiming mirrors it's full body paint so all the graphics you see this is painted on graphics with a clear coat coating over it and on the front it has the diamond shield which is like a clear 3m film over the front to protect it against rock chips we do a lot of servicing with our RVs. So this one has a brand new front windshield. This is not an ex inexpensive thing to replace, but it is usually covered by insurance if it, you ever crack it. So all brand new front windshield. So as I get my RVs, we do a lot of upgrades and servicing, major servicing. So this has a brand new awning fabric it's black when it's rolled up but it's white so it reflects the light so you can see really well at night it has led patio light so that you can be out here without bugs being attracted to it bugs are not as attracted to the led lights which is really helpful depending where you go camping some places there's not much bugs but other places there's a lot let's take a close look at the brand new awning fabric As it rolls up, it fades to a black fabric. It's very cool. Um, something, another service item that you don't have to worry about for a long time. We had to shoot the outside now because the weather was good. So this has a 50 amp power and it's got a nice quiet running generator on board. All the tires are new replaced tires. We just put the four on the rear and it already had new ones on the front. So these are four brand new tires. These tires have zero miles on them. We just had them installed. They're brand new. If you went and bought tires, we would spend at least $2,500 buying tires. So these rear tires are all brand new. We had these installed this month and uh, the front tires are maybe six months to a year old or something like that they were recently changed so tires is an expense that you won't have to worry about for quite a long time and then we put the really nice tires on here these are actually uniroyal american brand tires so they're not the cheap chinese tires that we put on here uniroyal rs20s so this 34BH has giant cargo storage in this compartments here. 
front carpeted compartments and multiple full pass-through compartments. This one passes through all the way to the other side. This one passes through to the other side as well. So it's long enough you can put your eight foot folding tables, another cargo compartment. This is your propane tank. It's half full right now. Nice big propane uh, for your onboard cooking and heating. This compartment is full pass through to the other side. The rear cargo compartment, as I mentioned, is full pass through to the other side. These are lighted compartments and in here you have your 50 amp uh, heavy duty power cable so you can run all your gadgets when you're plugged in. As the Generac 5500 watt generator, it's a quiet generator. And your water connections with an outside shower station. So we're going to go in and take a look inside the Coachman Murata 34BH. This is December 2020. We do have the brand new awning on here. This is completed its major services. So we've done a lot of upgrading. We're going to go in and take a look. So this one is unique because it has the dining table right here with chairs and then you have the sofa bed with a pull-out queen sofa bed on the left. The, I believe they replaced this sofa with a new a little bit wider one. Uh, in the front we have a brand new 32 inch HD television. We have brand new uh, water fixtures including the kitchen faucet brand new mattresses in the bunk beds these mattresses are brand new no one's ever slept on these before so if you bring kids and they sleep in here they're not sleeping where anybody else has slept on these mattresses walk around queen bed and in the bedroom here we have a brand new uh, HD TV in here as well so we've done major services. All of the lighting in here is upgraded LED lighting. So it's not those old light bulbs that get hot and drain the battery. This is high efficiency LED lighting. And in the Coachman Radas, they use very high quality woodwork. This is the darker color wood and it's very high quality, real wood. This is not like a thermal foil door panels here this is a real nice stuff there is storage underneath the queen bed the mattress on here is kind of heavy so it is possible to store all your linens and stuff but you'll have to prop up the bed to use it for storage again this coach has dual air conditioners on it front and rear high performance AC units the bunks have their own TVs they're little flip down TVs that can turn into position and then the kids can watch television on both bunks. They can tune in the channels. Now some people don't have kids, but maybe you have grandkids. This is this does not convert into a closet. This is just bunk beds for sleeping. And these bunk beds are a lot wider. Some RVs that have bunk beds and they're only about this wide. But this one has got an extra about six inches compared with other brands of motorhome. And they're six feet long. Wood privacy doors. So you can release a locking pin and close off the bedroom area for privacy. Go into the bathroom area and we have a large glass enclosed shower brand new fixture for the shower and then this is a really nice magnetically sealed enclosure for the shower now in the bathrooms we upgraded the vent apparatus so you have these nice weatherproof vent covers over the top I'll go outside and I'll show you those in a little bit 
and we have a much larger ventilation fan so when you turn that on it exhausts a hundred percent of any odors from the bathroom so if somebody's doing their business in here you're not going to smell it in the rest of the coach if you turn on the fan and it doesn't have any odors right now it's just if somebody's doing something in here occasionally that might happen once in a while depending on who's in here so that's really helpful for everybody getting along additional premium cabinetry here we'll go up to the take a look at the kitchen genuine Korean countertops over the kitchen again LED lights and a brand new kitchen faucet with still got the tag on it and it pulls down and then you can spray it's a state-of-the-art faucet nice clean kitchen sink now we did have a housekeeper come through and clean everything they clean the microwave they clean the oven they clean the cooktop they clean the refrigerator everything is cleaned up so it's been sanitized by a professional housekeeper and the refrigerator works it's been tested I bought this RV in Arizona and drove it to California so I drove it about roughly 500 to 600 miles myself found all the little glitches that I could with it and we think we have everything corrected so it's ready to put the keys in put the food in and the people in and camp immediately there's a paper towel holder stashed in the compartment here all the air conditioning work the heater works it got a light over the sofa here everything works it's pretty rare to find a bunkhouse class A with a dining table so if you're interested in it you better act fast otherwise you'll have to do your own remodeling one of the things we added here there was a little scratch on the wall but we put this padded material next to the dining area so even if you're eating here and you spill it's not going to drip down the wallpaper and make it a little easier to clean up after your meals we, we installed brand new Vizio smart TV so it has the TV apps like Netflix and you can pull up to your campsite and or stream Netflix from your smartphone it has that capability but we've been getting over the air broadcast you saw there was TV picture already that's like on the local channel channel 4 at KNBC this has an amplified TV antenna on the roof so in this area it's getting over hundred and fifty TV stations just free over the air broadcast so when you go to a new area you just scan for channels and it'll find it that was channel 4 next to the bed in the master bedroom you have reading lights over here so you can sit here and read a book you've got little nightstands here so you can set your gizmos there's power so you can plug them in and charge them and there's tie back so if you want to open the curtains you can tie the curtains back this RV coachman they give you a lot of storage so in this compartment there's room for like cases of chips and paper towel toilet paper once you start putting stuff in this cabinet you'll realize how big it is but it also has drawers in the bottom you can pull these drawers out for your socks and underwears and things like that hanging clothes linen closets and on this one there's actually storage behind the TV you could potentially put stuff behind this bedroom TV the previous owner put a hinge arm on there and then the TV was missing so we put a brand new the biggest TV that would fit in the opening in there I believe it's a 24 inch TV which is not bad in the bedroom area here 
You know, we'll throw in a vacuum if you ask for it. We have extra vacuum cleaners. And a vacuum like this one we can throw in. So you can clean up when you go to the campground. Vacuum up dust and dirt. But these are cabinet doors. I'm sorry, compartment doors are wood, as I mentioned. They give you real privacy in the bedroom. And then they have the locking pins so you can secure them in place. So there's two sets of doors here. It's really nice. The toilet in the restroom is a porcelain toilet. I'm going to open up the bed and we're going to take a look at it real quick. So when we come over to the bed here, let's have a look at it. These cushions can set to the side. from having like an air mattress that you have to blow up. It's a second queen bed. One of the reasons why the sofa is there is so you can still get around it. So this is another walk around queen bed. It has an aisle that you can pass around the bed. So in the, in the back, now we've got two in the queen bed, two in the bunks, and two here. So that's six people. If you need to bring seven or eight, you have enough floor space here that you can inflate an air mattress like one of those uh, inflatable air beds for one or maybe even two people could have a place to sleep here if you really want to cram them in. Or you could just take those extra cushions and lay them on the floor here and somebody could use that for a bed. So it, there is a sleeping capabilities on this rig if you need it. As we work our way up to the front, there's a nice table here uh, with drawers in it that you can open up and the old shower head in there, more storage. Instead of having a chair here, they put in a, a nice little place here that you can have additional storage. Uh, up in the front, the front seats, these captain chairs, the fabric is in mint condition. It looks like maybe the previous owner had them reupholstered because it looked like brand new when we bought it and there's no signs of wear on any of the upholstery in here we didn't have to change it looks like like they took really good care of it um, we did have to replace the front windshield so this has a brand new front windshield there was a crack but there's not a single chip or crack in it now as we come up to the front here we can start up the engine and look at some of the driver's features as i like to talk about on the fords this is a ford drivetrain right now the odometer says it has thirty-nine thousand seven hundred and twelve miles on it remember this rv has brand new tires we have a backup camera but we also have side view camera for the left side and as i turn on the left turn signal the left side view camera appears on the screen. Now if I turn on the right turn signal, the right side view camera appears. And then when the turn signals are off, it goes back to the backup camera. We can see there's a car behind us right now. And then we have a dash radio where there's a switch to enable the dash radio. We have the generator start stop for the Generac 5500 watt generator. And then we have a battery jump start switch. The dash air conditioning, it blows ice cold. And that was serviced actually on this one. And then we have power mirrors. Not all the motor homes, believe it or not, have power mirrors, but this one has power mirrors with mirror heaters. And it has LED eyebrow lights, the little LEDs like the new cars have, these fancy LEDs. And we have fully automatic leveling jacks that also serve semi-automatic. So if you use the manual button, which is on the left, I'm gonna explain on this video how to use these leveling jacks because I get a lot of questions. 
I only recommend under normal conditions to use semi-auto. And the reason is the RV will stay lower to the ground. And when you lift up a vehicle off the ground, you don't want to um, lift tires off the ground. There's a lot of various reasons. If you in a space that is uneven where the tires need to lift off the ground in order to be level, by simply leveling it left or right, you can avoid that. Otherwise, you need to have wooden blocks under the tires and wooden blocks under the leveling jacks to compensate for an uneven service, surface. So when you go to a campground, to use the leveling jacks, the parking brake has to be set. The engine must be running. Otherwise, it could encounter low voltage. All of these are like that with this LCI leveling system and it's a very popular system with the manufacturers it works really well it tends to be very reliable so what I recommend doing is go to the campground press manual and then level it the low the high side first whichever is leaning a little left or a little right raise the high side first till the jacks go down to the ground and you'll fill it start to move when the first pad hits and then you'll feel it move and start to rise when the second pad hits then let go then switch to the low side and there's a little light that will appear that shows you what the low side is and then you raise the low side left or right i'm talking about raise it up until it stops it'll stop automatically when you're in manual mode at level and leave it there and maybe the front will be a little bit high or the front will be a little bit low but it'll be even left or right for most campsites that's all you have to do you can use auto because if you use auto all it's going to do is going to raise one jack at a time until they're all grounded and they're going to go like this and it's going to stabilize but you should only use auto leveling on a campsite that's almost perfectly level that way you're not lifting tires off the ground so that avoids you a lot of trouble where it's a potential safety hazard if tires are off the ground because first of all the rear tires that's your parking brake so if the rear tires are off the ground then your parking brake isn't really doing anything because the tires are in the air and the front if you release the pressure by lowering the jacks are lowering the RV down to the ground when it's too high up it can do a sudden drop which can if you're not ready for it somebody might fall or trip or something so that's how I recommend using the leveling jack so on the other systems that this Ford has we have uh, the menu we can change info so outside temperature 72 degrees 198 miles to empty Engine hours, 951 hours on the engine. That's not bad. Airplane engines, sometimes they last 2,000 hours running at full power, so low hours. And the trip meter, zero miles on the trip. And we can do a um, system check where if we press reset, it'll check all the temperature gauges to make sure everything's okay. Transmission, oil pressure, brake fluid everything is okay systems passed so the RV is capable to do that for you we also have these dash fans up here so these are considered defrost fans so if you're driving in cold conditions where it's freezing cold outside and you're running the heat inside to uh, reduce fogging of the windows you have these dash fans and sometimes maybe in the summer blowing and circulating air might help but you have these powerful air conditioners on the roof. If it's really hot and you're driving through the desert, you can run the generator when you're driving and run your ACs. Um, on the Ford, on the headlight switch is right here. And there's a dimmer control right here, a little wheel here. So when I flip that wheel down, that turns on or off the dome light. So from the driver's seat, I can operate the dome light, which is really helpful. Not all motorhomes can you do that, but this one you can. Now when the previous owner was upgrading the table and chairs, 
the, or maybe they even order it from the factory. I'm not sure. Um, but they also uh, put this nice drink holder tray here, which is wood and it matches. It's got a little drawer in it. it got these premium drink holders and the second one over here. So it's a pretty nice setup. Maybe you set your phone here for navigating. It's pretty cool. You have sun visors overhead. You have additional storage up in the front. When our housekeepers went through here, they wiped everything down with the orange oil to uh, clean, carefully clean the wood. Up here on the right is your power awning retract and extend switch. So you can look out the window at the power awning. Now to use the awning, the engine has to be off. If you're gonna do the slide outs or the awning, I'm hitting the switch with my left hand while I'm looking out the window and rolling up the awning. It's rolling up there. So if it's raining outside, you can deploy the awning from inside the coach. You've got privacy shades right here that you can close for privacy or you can open those for better visibility when you're driving. So if you want to go somewhere and drive the motorhome, the most important thing is make sure your chair is clear of the slide out so that when the slide comes in, it doesn't hit. Now, when we're in the campground, this has a full, very good condition privacy curtain. It wraps all the way around. I kind of need two hands to do it so I don't fall down when I'm doing it. But a uh, full wraparound privacy curtain. We can put the slides in, but the engine must be off. I recommend putting the slides in when you're connected to power or running the generator for best results, but it's not necessary. The battery can do it by itself unless you've run the battery down from dry camping or something. Slides move in. These are really stable slide out system. It drives it from the bottom and they come right in and they close up. You can do it one at a time from right here. And then this one. Now, let's talk about this is a flat floor technology slide out. So when the slide is out, the floor drops into a pocket so it's almost level. In a lot of motorhomes, there's like a six inch hump that you can trip over all the time. But not on this one. This is a nice, what they call a flat floor technology slide out. So you'll see as it comes in, the slide rocks and then comes in over the floor. So as it's coming up, sliding up and then going over the floor as it comes in. We track, retracting in the slide outs. Now there's four seat belts in this vehicle. It's possible to put seat belts for five in here, but the way it's configured right now, there are four seat belts, two in the front seats and two in the sofa. The sofa could support additional seat belts. Probably you could put up to six seat belts if, if you sit real cozy in the sofa here. So there's still, with both slides closed, when you start the engine, you can pull the parking brake and the jacks will auto retract for you. And don't go anywhere until it's all the way in. But see, with the slides in, we have room to walk forward and back, no problem. If it was really critical, you could sleep on the bed without extending the slide. But you have a lot more room. But even with a slight close, you could still sleep two on the bed, on the bunk beds, and two on the rear queen bed. So four people could sleep in here, no problem. With the slides closed, if you were going to try to rough it at a truck stop or something like that. It's much more comfortable to go to a like a paid campground where you have full hookups. You can enjoy yourself a lot more on your cross-country travels. So I want to bring something up. If you're going to go traveling in your RV, 
there's a really cool app called the Good Sam app. And uh, I think I'll put a screenshot of it. I really like it because if you need to find a campground, like a paid full hookup campground, you can just click on the app, open it up, and it shows you a map of where you are and where the campgrounds are around you. And then if you see a, a campground, especially the ones in red, you can click on it. And then you can take a look at the ratings of the campgrounds, the restroom, the facility, and the appeal. Like that one's pretty good, 9.5 rating. And it seems to work pretty good. It shows you prices and you can go on the app and book a campground. That's really helpful when you're traveling the country in unfamiliar territory. I mean, you have your own restroom, you have your own kitchen, your shower, everything you need. Except that you're driving in unfamiliar territory, so it makes it really easy to find a campground. So I'm going to recap some of the brand new equipment that's been installed on this RV and that includes all six tires, the patio awning fabric was changed, the TVs, both TVs, these main TVs and the bedroom TV are brand new, all the lighting in the coach, these overhead light fixtures were changed with high performance, high brightness, LED, energy efficient lighting. The bunk bed mattress material, the complete mattress and foam is all brand new on the bunk beds. And it looks like the previous owner installed the couch and reupholstered the front seats fairly recently. All of the in upholstery inside is really good condition. We did fully service it. <clears throat> in addition, brand new kitchen faucet fixture the outside shower fixture is brand new and the bathroom shower fixture and valves is brand new these valve fixtures are kind of important because sometimes they um they they tend to leak especially if it's ever been exposed to freezing conditions if you buy a used rv that's been in freezing conditions you have to usually change all the fixtures but we put new fixtures in just so it it's all about clean these days so you have clean never before used faucet fixtures also to recap these overhead vents these are vents are brand new even the covers on the outside are brand new the roof was resealed to make sure there's no path for water to leak in to cause damage that's something you have to check every year is the, the seals on the roof to make sure that there's no new gaps or cracks appear after you're driving around and or parking in the sun or whatever. Just to recap, on the front TV, it is a smart TV. It has these various apps where you can Hulu, Redbox, Amazon Prime. So you can go direct to Amazon Prime, just hit a button and then you have your Prime streaming movies. Uh, you don't even need the Blu-ray or DVD player, although it does have HDMI, so you can connect that. Uh, no problem, but it's kind of neat not to worry about the the disc when you're traveling. Even the um, entry door latch unit, we changed with a brand new one. So this has its own keys, only for this RV that the previous owner won't have access to. So it's got two brand new keys and a door lock for the entry to the motorhome. See, there you go. Amazon Prime streaming movies built into the TV. So making sure we cover everything in the kitchen. Over the kitchen, we added one of these upgraded fans so you can open the vent when you're cooking and turn on, th this is similar to the vent in the restroom, and blast out all the smoke and cooking odors to the outside, make all your neighbors jealous. That's pretty quiet. It supplements the vent fan that you have over the cooktop. This is a lot noisier, actually. This will absorb the grease into the grease filters. But this will really exhaust out the smoke, um, which is very helpful. It's just like the fan in the restroom. Clean, clean, clean got a light under here too now this is three burner cooktop but you also have a gas oven 
And the gas oven is really important for a lot of cooks because if you do dry camp, which means you're parking in a primitive campsite. I like full hookup campsites, but sometimes you go to a nice place, which is considered a primitive campsite. That means there's no power to plug into. So if you show up later in the night, if there's a bunch of tents around you because you're in a primitive campsite, the people in the tents will not appreciate you running your generator after 8 p.m. And it may be against the rules. So having a gas oven is very helpful because it's you can cook silently just on your battery power. And then of course you have the three burner cooktop can light your burners. Nice and hot, don't want to cook the camera. And this one is nice because they have a full mirrored backsplash. So it makes it look, look a little bigger. And then if you get splash on the mirrors, it's very easy to clean compared with wallpaper or something simple. So easy to clean, backsplash. Besides the refrigerator, you have a dry foods pantry that you can pull out. Put your bags of chips and stuff. There's a little drawer down here you can open up. Additional drawers in the kitchen. And a nice big area. It's not too tore up at all under the sink. There's a large area under the sink for pots and pans. And there's a metal blind here because this is a flammable location. They don't have flammable material next to the cooking area. So this RV has two high performance roof mounted air conditioners in addition to the dash air conditioner. So you can run these when you're driving by running the generator and these will they take quite a bit of power so the generator will support that when you're driving. I'm going to show you how to use the air conditioning real quick. So the fan mode can show AU or you can go high or low. When you're using the air conditioning, if it's on low, the furnace, the fan or the air conditioner will always have the fan on the roof on low. If it's on auto, it'll go on low or high as needed depending on the temperature adjustment required. And then if it's manually selected, then the fan will run all the time. I'm going to start the engine. I'm going to talk a few more things about the front engine. I mentioned, or started to mention, this has tow haul mode. So there's a little button on the gear selector. And that's very helpful when you're driving in the mountains. And this is a tilt wheel, so I can tilt it down. The brake light is on because the parking brake is set. So when you're in the driving in hills, like mountain passes and things like that, you go up the hill and then you go down the hill and when you're coming down the hill it's extremely helpful to use this button push it and the little orange light says tow haul mode when you turn on tow haul mode as you're coming down the hill and you tap the brakes it automatically downshifts the transmission from like overdrive to thir to there's five speed transmission so from five four three two one as your speed reduces, it downshifts to help slow the vehicle coming down hills so you don't have to ride on the brake pedal when you're coming down a hill. It's very, very helpful. So you should definitely use tow haul mode when you're coming down hills. You might like it when you're going up hills, but I especially recommend it for coming down hills. So I'm going to wrap it up inside. We're going to look on the roof and take a peek underneath and wrap up the video. We've come up onto the roof of the 35BH. Take a look up and spec the roof for you here. Now, this one has awning, topper awnings over the slide outs. So when you park under a nice tree and the birds and the squirrels in the tree are start throwing acorns at you, or if, you, if it's fall and the leaves are falling out of the tree, you don't have to come up on top 
and sweep it off because it's like a conveyor belt when the slide goes in everything just rolls off the top it also keeps the sun off it keeps rain off and snow as well if you're in a snowstorm this rolls off like a conveyor belt both slide outs have these top awnings and then uh, this also has a weatherproof vent covers this vent has a weatherproof vent cover over the bathroom so you can leave it open when people are doing their business in there just leave the vent open so you got fresh air circulating through the restroom and this is the skylight over the restroom we went through the roof of this rv and did a reseal so that all the this gap seals above or the laps between the roof and the fixtures are resealed up here we even replaced the vent cover over the kitchen vent so that's been taken care of this one has dual roof air conditioners all the sealed ceiling surfaces have been redone and the paint and everything looks good up here so it's a really nice clean roof all sealed nice and tight for you So I'm going to go take a peek underneath the RV now. Starting at the 80 gallon fuel tank underneath. You can carry 80 gallons so you have a long driving range. All six tires have been replaced. These are the brand new Uniroyals. They actually still have little pieces of the sticker labels. They're literally brand brand new. Underneath there's not much rust or corrosion because this is a Arizona owned motorhome so it hasn't been in the snow and road salts the front tires are steering tires and those were also recently replaced under the engine we can't find any leaks no dripping fluids another look at your steering tires excellent tire tread because the tires are not very old your hydraulic leveling jacks all four jacks are working correctly Again, we're not finding rust and corrosion underneath. And then, as we look, see a piece of the label from the tire when it was brand new. is still stuck on the tread a little bit. Big anti-sway bars. And go look in the center of the shiny chrome part of the wheel and you'll see the valve stem extenders. There's two little uh, extensions so you can check your tire pressure without having to uh, get dirty. Make sure your tires are safe to drive before you travel your 5,000 pound tow hitch and your seven pin connector. So thank you for watching my video. My name is Mike Johnson, looking at the 2013 Coachman Murata. Take a look at my website, see if this RV is still available. My website is mybestcar.com. And the company name who you're gonna pay the check to is A Buyer's Choice. So go to mybestcar.com Take a look at my inventory and see if this RV is available and how much I'm asking for it. You can call me with your questions. Give me a call, 951-681-2101. Thank you for watching.